Good evening. New tonight, it's a story that's gained a lot of attention over the last couple of days on social media. An on-duty volunteer firefighter hit by a vehicle and the driver kept going. Now that driver has turned himself in and is facing criminal charges. Two on your side's Jackie Roberts has the latest. Saturday, the Niagara County Sheriff announced they made an arrest in a hit and run involving a volunteer firefighter. The fireman with the Rapids Fire Company was hit by a truck and seriously hurt while responding to an accident on Tonawana Creek and Minnick Road last Sunday. The driver drove off. This is a volunteer fireman that donates his time to come out to help others and then he gets hit by a vehicle and the person leaves the scene. Um, that should bother people in the community. It bothered Niagara County Sheriff Jim Votor too. So he wrote this letter urging the driver to come forward. The letter said in part, although you chose not to help Ron on August 18th, you can still help him to heal by calling me today. You still have a chance to do the right thing. Shortly after, 35-year-old Matthew Huffnagel of Lockport contacted sheriff's investigators through his attorney. After being interviewed, Huffnagel was charged with leaving the scene of a serious physical injury accident, disobeying a traffic control device, and disobeying a flag person. Votor says knowing who's responsible gives a sense of relief. I'm close with this fair company. This is my company where I live. I just live around the corner. Um, these are the guys that protect me. And uh, I know it's, uh, it's worn heavy on them, and especially worn heavy on uh, the firefighter who was injured and his wife. The firefighter hit is now out of the hospital, and his colleagues say his condition is improving. Votor says far too often drivers aren't cautious enough when crews are on the roads. I know everybody's in a hurry, I know everybody's got to get somewhere, but they're there for a reason. And if you see them stop, obey their orders, turn around and go a different route. That letter Votor wrote was posted on the Niagara County Sheriff's Facebook page, and since then, thousands of people have shared, reacted to, or commented on the post, showing support for the firefighter who was hit. Again, he is out of the hospital and now recovering. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.